so what I'm going to do today is um, add some stuff to the game live. I think you can see this. These are the parts of the sheep drawn as line art. And then on a separate sheet, we have the coloring. Um, so this gets scanned in as a separate layer. So I scan in this whole sheet of stuff all at once. So now I can import it into here and we can see what it's gonna look like. Now this is not with the line art on it, but we can still look to see whether our outlines are working. So now we can do a line import and in come these lines. So I get them, I get them lined up here. Uh, and now we got the sheep's body when he's shorn, which is bald and kind of pink. And then his body when he's got a full fleece. Uh, let's start putting, <laughs> putting the sheep together. Let's get the face in there. Um, let's put some eyes on the face. Um, now we got ears, which I think, <laughs> I have not seen this put together yet, but it's pretty funny to see them. Um, so this is pretty cool. I'm gonna maybe move these in a little bit closer. All right, so now animating this guy or the domestic move law, I have him kind of doing this jumping thing. So I'm gonna try and copy that. Um, try it on the sheep as well. <laughs> okay, let's just be real cheap right now and just copy these um, leg movements as well. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> that kind of looks all right. Let's, um, so I can adjust this Y oscillation and how much it moves, right? So you can really see like, I mean, I guess I should be also showing what this animation editor does, right? It's got these little sliders and you can really tweak things by hand. We can also give it some X uh, amplitude. All right, so there he is. We can also have, I guess we could make his ears flop a little bit. That's too much. I think I had it set to chase us, so it should chase us. We'll see if we can get it to chase us out of the one, two, three, four. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> domestic lamb, um, and they currently turn into, back into a domestic mouflon, which I don't want. So I'm gonna change him into a sheep instead. That is kind of like what I want him to look like pretty much right there. So you can see he just kind of, <laughs> he just kind of flips into this shorn version of him. You know, sheep, you do, when you shear a sheep, you don't actually take the entire pelt off. You do usually leave some around their head and so on. Sorry, use the shears. You end up with shears in your hand still, and then you're gonna have the sheep with the with the fleece down by his legs what can you do with the drop spindle uh drop spindle plus fleece gives you a small ball of yarn and you end up with the drop spindle still in your hand so small big huge this is a little hat so this is how someone looks wearing it that's like a model that we can see and we can go and like page through you can also see what it looks like on different age people <laughs> So first of all, we can say, what does it look like when they're holding a ball of yarn? What does it look like when they're wearing this stuff? It's pretty good. We can slow down time just to see. Okay, here we go. Um, <laughs> All right, first try. So when he gets shorn, <laughs> that's the noise he's gonna make. What does it sound like when you make a drop spindle? Um, some kind of wood going through. It's gonna be like a spinning kind of flipping sound. Um, ah, there we go. It's like a. Let me go and shear some of these bad boys here. <laughs> All right, so I should be able to knit a booty. Yeah, that worked. So I've got one boot on, and so I got that, and let's just make a hat too. All right, and let's knit. All right, there's my hat. It's getting hungry here. We started out um, with just these 
these very simple drawings, right? And we ended up with one, two, three, four, 10, 11, 12 different things that are all kind of uh, interacting and tightly knit together, right? So that's it uh, for um, domestication of sheep all the way up to using their wool for something. Uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> Whoa!